Welcome to today's video. Today's video is about how do electric cars work and in this series of videos and this one in particular we're going to be going into how charging works. Now we're going to be going into the different types of charge plugs, type 1, type 2, CCS, CHAdeMO and any other plugs that you're going to be using in UK, Europe and North America. So if you're in any of those regions these are the videos that you want to watch to understand literally how does charging work what is AC, what is DC, and which plug do you need when you're plugging your car in in a public charger? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Let's start off with the type of electricity you're going to be using at home, and that is AC, alternating current. So if you're charging at home or your work, the electricity that comes into your property is AC electricity, and if you're charging at home, you're going to be using one of these two plugs. You're going to be in, if you're in North America, you'll be using Type 1, this plug here. And that is all of North America, unless you're a Tesla owner, which have their own priority plug, but we'll get into that in a bit. And then in Europe, if you've got a very, very early Nissan Leaf, so the early bug-shaped one, you're going to be having this type of plug again, because the early Nissan Leafs came with a Type 1. If you're in Europe and it's a later car or not a Leaf, you'll be using Type 2, which is this plug. Type 2 now has to be fitted on all cars made in Europe, and even the new shaped Nissan Leaf now has Type 2. So these two plugs will charge you at home. They plug straight into the car, either directly from your tethered unit from your house or an untethered unit, which will have the corresponding plug at the other end. In Europe, the other side of your Type 2 plug is another Type 2. Again, in Europe, the other side of your Type 1 plug is a Type 2. So Type 1 in Europe goes straight to a Type 2. It's different in North America, it's Type 1 to Type 1. But in Europe, Type 2 is the standard. So always the public end always has that shape on the other end. Now, AC has several speeds, several. Now, let's start off with what we call single phase electricity, that's one source of electricity direct from the grid, one phase. We won't go into sync all the phases too much, it's a little bit complicated. Uh, first of all, this is a granny cable. This is by far the slowest way of charging. In the UK, it's a three pin plug. In Europe, it's the standard two pin domestic socket. And in America, again, it's another domestic socket. Slowest way of charging, by far, in the UK, it will only pull 10 amps from a 13 amp socket. Very slow, and in my mind, it's only supposed to be supposed to be used in emergencies. I've seen fires and damage to free pin plugs and all sorts of issues. If you're using this as a daily way of charging your electric car, don't upgrade to a proper unit, which there's a link top right to a list of units that you can get that will work with an electric car. The next method, which is my preferred method, is having a dedicated wall unit. Now, some of them have your cable built in, and at the end, it will have your Type 1 or Type 2 plug, depending on what market and what car you've got. Uh, some of them are untethered, which where you plug this straight into the front of the unit and then obviously the unit will then send electricity to your car. Now these are available in several different amperages, uh, the lowest starting at 16 amps, then moving up to 32 amps. And then the super high powered ones that you get at motorway service stations are free phase and I think they're 64 amps, but I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that one. So AC can be single phase and free phase. The majority of electric cars are single phase and can only charge at seven kilowatts or below. Some of them are capable of doing more and especially a lot of the new ones that are coming out this year are capable of more. And my favorite one, the Renault Zoe, some of them are capable up to 43 kilowatts, which is using three phase, and some of them are only capable up to 22 kilowatts free phase. But that is still a lot higher on AC than some other manufacturers. Now, if you're going for a char home charger, my recommendation as per my video that was on top right is to get a seven, seven kilowatt phase charger, single phase. But like I said, you are able, if you have a, a, a work property, I've done an install of my property here at work. I had a three phase charger installed, which is capable of 22 kilowatts. So on one of these, Zoe, will charge at 22 kilowatts. But then on my BMW, that's only capable of free phase at 11 kilowatts. So if you're if you're not sure which electric car, what your car charges at, have a look at the specs. It should tell you, and there's a database, uh, EV database link down below in the description, which tells you basically what phases they charge at. But the quicker that is AC, the quicker it will charge at home, and 
the quicker it will charge at some public charging stations because a lot of the public charging stations are AC free phase because it's quite cheap to install. Now we're going to move on to the more complicated thing which is DC. Now DC in American Europe comes in three flavours. In Europe it just comes in two flavours and in uh, the USA it only comes in two flavours again. So let's first start off with our American friends. Our American friends DC will be Chadamo which is on the Nissan Leaf and Japanese built cars and this is a Jap this is a Chadamo socket. They are DC electric, they are they can do various charge speeds. They are usually a minimum of 50 kilowatt charge speeds and they can go up to some, you know, high speeds, 150, I think is the highest I can re recall from memory of what a Chadamo is capable of. If you know of a faster Chadamo charge speed, leave it down in the comments. Your next charge speed, uh, charge sort of socket you can use on a American market is what we call CCS. Now CCS in the US is going to confuse my European viewers now. CCS is a type one plug in the USA with two big prongs at the bottom for your DC charging. Now DC charging is usually started at 50 kilowatts and ramps all the way up to really high speeds again, 350 kilowatt charge speeds. So that is a very, very, very capable system of providing future proof sort of charge speeds for DC. Now DC means direct current. It's the same electricity that your battery has. So if you're charging AC, your car will convert that AC electric to DC to charge the car up. And if you're DC, it's basically just going from DC to DC converter and going straight into the battery. And DC does allow them to ramp the sort of charge speed, etc., to a much higher kilowatt base. And there's a lot of physics behind that and we'll discuss that as we go later into the series, which will probably when I see you and McTuck, who can probably explain it a lot better than me. Now, back to my European viewers. My European viewers, again, we have Chadamo, same as the Americans that I've just mentioned, but we then have RCCS. Now, RCCS plug is a type two plug with two prongs at the bottom. And again, the two prongs are capable of those high charge speeds. Now, the reason why the Americans have a type one and we have a type two is because this is our plug and this is their plug. And it means that you can fit one plug to a car that's capable of doing AC at the top and DC at the bottom. The top half of both of these plugs just does the car's communication and the bottom pins at the bottom will do the DC fast charging. And if you're using a normal sort of slow charge AC charger, you'll just use the normal plug at the top. So the idea is you fit one plug that does the job of two. It's a very good idea and it's very, very neat. And that's why we are in the Europe using only type two. It simplifies things, makes things easier, and it's why in America they've stuck with a type one plug. Here in uh, the UK, Tesla's use type two, and we also see model threes now have type two with CCS. As I said, my American viewers will know that Tesla have a priority plug. It's their own special plug that works on superchargers, and they get a type one to Tesla connector adapter when they buy the car and they can also get Chadamo adapters, and same in the UK, you can get a Chadamo adapter for your Model S, for example. And you can also now get a CCS adapter for your Model S in Europe. So I hope this clears up a lot of the questions about plugs and charges and AC and DC. Please follow me, click the subscribe down below, check out my Twitter, check out my Instagram. There'll be more in this series about how do electric cars work. Thank you very much for watching this week's video, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.